I'm Cindy Collins. Um, I have a 46 acre orchard here in the Hood River Valley. We grow pears and cherries commercially. Most of us who live here can't imagine a prettier place to live with our mountains. NRCS is, um, has a conservation innovation grant that we've worked with different partners to bring in um, an air curtain burner for the different growers to use. We started with the air curtain burner last year, so we've used it for two seasons now, and just kind of got our feet wet with it last year and burned all of the large pruning wood that we generated from the orchard. And then this year, I took out a block of mature cherry trees, so we burned all the wood there with the exception of the stumps, which are a little too big to go into the burner. As the fire is going on the inside, um, this fan is blowing air across the top to recirculate the smoke so that it's being reburned so that any particulate matter, any sparks, anything that's coming off the fire is being reburned so that everything is being really cleanly burned and there's no smoke, no particulate matter, anything being released to the air, just like your really clean EPA burning wood stoves. Uh, it allows us to burn during you know, the summer months where normally there's a burn ban on piles. You can still use the burn box. So it's, it's a useful tool. It just burns really clean and it just feels really good for the environment that you're not putting that much smoke into the air. And it's really amazing when you get done, you know, we have trailer load of trailer load of wood coming up to be burned and then once the burner leaves there's just maybe three or four inches of ash that's left on the ground so there's very little left. Um, it burns very clean. We also are providing incentives to be able to get rid of their smudge pots that they're using for frost control on the properties. Um, those are the diesel smudge pots that are just burning oil with no combustion system whatsoever. We're providing an incentive to get rid of those or recycle those or convert those to some cleaner form. My name is Robert Benton. Uh, my family has been here since 1909 farming basically the same land. Uh, we've continually grown over you know, the last hundred years or so. The smudge pot replacement program has allowed us to um, take old oil burning smudge pots and convert them into propane burning smudge pots. And the oil pots obviously do produce a lot of particulates into the air uh, and the propane burns incredibly clean. It's, it's very noticeable when, when we're operating. What you see here is a uh, old military ordnance container that's been converted into a burner to replace the oil version that we have gotten rid of. Nobody has said no I want to keep my smudge pots. There's no love for diesel smudge pots. People want to get rid of them. So. Well, there's a lot of costs when installing a propane system. Uh, the oil burners uh, have the, the, the oil reservoir on them, so they can sit there and you don't have to do any additional uh, infrastructure improvements. Where with a propane system, you have to plumb your orchard with pipe in order to get the propane to where it needs to go. Without help and funding to do that and, and to help with that additional cost, it's very difficult for a farmer to decide to make the decision uh, you know, to replace their oil heaters. And so just with a little bit of help from the government and NRCS, it's been a lot easier to make that conversion. Anything you can do to uh, reduce the amount of you know, particulates and gases that you put into the air is important.